Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Alex and in this video what I'm going to do is to explain the difference between data plane, management plane and control plane on a rudder or on a switch. Uh, and specifically we are talking about Cisco switches, rudders, but this is not different for any other vendor. So we have three different things here to speak about that. But before doing anything, what I'm going to ask you is to click on that subscribe button. Also, there is a bell button there. If you click on that and activate that, anytime that I post a new video, you are going to receive it as soon as possible. Give me a thumbs up too. That's going to encourage me to create more of these kinds of videos for you. So first of all, let's speak about data plane. So what is a data plane? A data plane, as a matter of fact, is not actually a plane. It is just a, a series of events that happen in a router. And these events are receiving the data and then sending the data. So receiving and sending totally is going to be the data plane, as a matter of fact. Somehow you call data plane the forwarding plane which means that forwarding the data is going to be the role of data plane. So what is uh, you know, uh, involved in this kind of plane? ASICs or somehow sometimes CPU if you are uh, process forwarding or something like that, that's going to be involved in data plane. But most of the time you just say ASICs are going to be involved in this because they are programmed. They are going to receive the commands that you have done before you have typed in before and they are going to work uh, per your commands so what about control plane control plane as a matter of fact is your commands whatever commands that you have previously told the rudder or switch to execute that is going to be your control plane what do you mean by that Let's say that I have configured OSPF on my router and I have told it to you know, in, include this interface and that interface into OSPF process and then have changed some costs or some things to you know, say that this is the way that you should forward the data from this interface to that interface. Everything that I have told this router or switch, that's going to be my control plane. And I'm going to show you in a second what about the last one what is management plane so management plane as a matter of fact somehow is the way that you control everything did I just say control yes as a matter of fact let's say that I have chosen to connect to my router using for example secure CRT over telnet and I am controlling the whole box using everything that I have provided here I am connected to this router I am working on that and I am checking how the router is working. Sometimes you say this checking involves monitoring, kind of uh, checking the performance of the router, checking if it is doing everything correctly. So this is going to be the management plane. So why sometimes you do not hear about management plane? Because most people say that management and control plane are the same, but they are not actually the same. So let's see what we have here. So if I just go and check what are so, so using CDP neighbor, what are my neighbors? You see that router three is connected to me and router six is connected to me. And then based on the topology that I have here, this is router three and router six. And after that, router three and router six are going to get to router seven, right? So let's try to send some data from router 1 to router 7. As a matter of fact, what I'm trying to do is to ping router 7, right? You know, you might argue that yes, ping is kind of a control plane message. Yes, but whenever it is being forwarded by a mediary device like, for example, router 3, for router 3, this is not a control plane message. It is just the data that needs to be sent over the interfaces. So let's go to router 1, try to ping router 7. What I'm going to do is to ping 7777 7, 7, 7, and hit enter. So seems that nothing is working, right? Why? Because router 1 doesn't have any information about router 7. So let's provide it using control plane so let's see let's see what we have here first of all show ip protocol i'm checking the control plane right now it says that i have ospf 
and I have some interfaces here. Okay, so let's see the data plane. How can I check data plane? Show IP route is one of the commands that help me to check the control plane. So using control plane, I need to provide some information for data plane to make sure that everything is going to be all right. So let's go to router 7 sc what I'm going to do first of all is to check control plane, show IP protocol. It says that I have EIGRP, I have VGP. I don't have any way to, you know, send information into OSP uh, router. So let's go to router 3 and send show IP protocol. Here it says I have OSPF here. And do I have any kind of redistribution? Here I don't see any information. So let's check the actual control plane commands that we have so show run section router ospf tells me that no there is no redistribution so what i'm going to do is to check to see what i have on router 7 do i have information about how to forward the data i'm going to check the data plane show ip route the show ip route says no i don't have anything about that so what I need to do is to first of all find the interface facing the uh, router 7, which is this one. I'm going to include this into EIGRP. Then I'm going to tell EIGRP to redistribute everything into, uh, let's say, OSPF. And this way, that is going to enable everything using control plane. So let's do that. I just go to here. I'm going to have router EIGRP 100. I'm going to have no auto summary. And then I'm going to have this network, which I just have here, so 000, and then that's going to create a neighborship after some seconds. And you can see the message here. So what I need to do is to redistribute everything into OSPF. So I'm going to go to redistribute OSPF first of all, because I'm going to redistribute OSPF into EIGRP as well. Redistribute OSPF1. So for metric, I need to type metric, and let's say, because there is no problem using this default matrix that's going to be okay so let's go to OSPF uh, 1 and then I'm going to redistribute EIGRP 100 and I'm going to include subnets now that I have entered some control plane commands here I need to go to router 1 and check data plane one more time and here data plane says I still don't have anything about that. Let's see. Yes, I know about 79. That is external. I have some things here, but let's see whether router 7 is advertising this into EIGRP. So show run section router EIGRP tells me that no, it hasn't advertised 7777. So I need to again go to control plane. So router EI grp 100 and i'm going to have network 7777 and save everything go back to router one and try one more time and now we see 7777 now if i just try data plane using the ping the ping is successful okay one more thing ping actually is a message intended for control plane. What is control plane again? Sometimes when you are pinging 7777, you're just pinging the router itself. You are telling the router itself whether you are present there, whether you are there to answer my request. Are you there or are you not? Router 7 is going to respond using its control plane. So that is a control plane message. But for router 3, that is in between. That's just the data plane message. It just receives a message and it knows the source, it knows the destination, it just forwards it to router 7. So I hope you have understood the difference between these three planes and um, I hope everything is clear for you.